If you are into camping and traveling, if you love RV life too, RVs with Gabby is the right channel for you. How to buy and how to use, that's what I'm here to do. RVs with Gabby at gmail.com So I wanted to start off with one of my absolute favorite layouts. This is the 2022 Jayco Pinnacle. Floor plan is 36 SSWS. I absolutely love the interior. It's a beautiful coach inside and out. So let's check out some of the features. Up front, we're going to start with the pin box, right? You're pulling a fifth wheel. It's going to be sitting on the back of your shoulders on your truck. So what do you want? A pin box that's going to help give you that play to prevent a lot of bucking and chucking so your truck is not jerk so the fifth wheel is not jerking you forward when you're stopping at a stoplight. So this has three inches of play back and forth. You've got an inch and a half back and an inch and a half front that gives you that, that slow gradual stop so you're not getting such a jerk. Up in front on this one you do have an automotive bonded windshield and you'll see inside it's gorgeous. It's in the bedroom. It gives it a very nice amount of light inside cannot see inside from the outside of the coach and it's bonded just like the windshield of your vehicle so it's not like a normal window it's just like the windshield of your car. This model is pre-wired for a generator. They're pretty hard to come by nowadays but it's all set up already and you can tell that it's all set up because it's got the box already cut out but also if you head back to the side here the larger propane tanks on board. So that's another indicator of how to tell if your Jayco is prepped for the generator. Pastor storage is massive, or I guess garage, whatever people want to call it on a fifth wheel. You've got this massive amount of storage. You can put tubs, totes, your slinkies, your chairs, whatever you'd like. Tiki torches, if that's your jam. <laughs> and upgrades to the inside of this, you've got the road backs. So you've got a central back system in the pinnacle and you have an access um, port inside and then you also have the vacuum out here in case you want to vacuum out the floor here or maybe your vehicle, um, whatever you want. In here you see a five gallon water jug. We'll come back to that when we're inside, but that's part of your upgraded water filtration system. You can see that the inside of this is insulated quite a bit more than other brands. I love that. It just gives you extra insulation on the inside of your bedroom there got an upgraded 12 gallon gas electric water heater on board and you've got your auto leveling system right but they do upgrade the pads of the auto leveling system so they are much wider and they'll hold your coach a lot better. They have what's called the five star handling package on here and part of that is going to be the upgraded Goodyear tires. Those are number one in the RV industry. Everybody loves them. So it's really nice that Jayco puts the Goodyear tire standard. They have their own six year prorated warranty from Goodyear. Now talking about the warranty, Jayco does have one of the best in the industry. You've got a two year on the interior build and a three year exterior structural warranty, right? So that is one year more than most others. But what I love too is they've made it full time. So warranties for RVs are technically only for weekenders. If you go in and you accidentally tell the wrong person that you live in your coach, it could void that RV warranty. So now Jayco has put that full timer sticker on there and you are covered whether you live in it or not. And this is a pretty gorgeous coach if you want to live in it. Two awnings, right? Dominique? Yes. Show that, how big that is. So you have all this space to hang out. And I love that they put the second one on top of the slide out, right? Because if they put it behind the slide, you lose two feet of your awning space, but they make it so that you've got a decent amount of space under each one. Your exterior entertainment center here with your insignia TV, just a great time to hang out. Let's be honest, you might spend some time in your coach, but a lot of times people are hanging out just outside in this area here. So it's really nice that you have all these upgrades on the exterior. Headed towards the back. You've got this gorgeous upgraded one-piece fiberglass cap, right? Same as some of the luxury motorhomes out there. It is one piece. There's no, there's no cut or seat directly in the middle of it. You've got the J Smart lighting. That's their safety marker and reverse travel lighting. So you have um, re reverse tail.
tail lights that are white and you have the extra set of marker lights on the top of the unit. This is pre-wired for side view and rear view cameras. Most coaches are now pre-wired, so you still have to get the camera kit installed, but it's already ready to go. You don't have to wire anything up. Another great pinnacle upgrade is gonna be your retractable electrical cord. So you just push this button and it retracts on its own. There's no need to try to wrangle that cord. I'm just moving it so that it guides it back onto that. But this is another feature you would normally find on luxury motorhomes. So again, just the fit and finish is upgraded with these pinnacles. Moving along this side. Gabby, why the heck did you give me a paddle that's just a refrigerator? Well, Dominique, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> these fridges are massive, okay? And you have an island kitchen inside. What happens when an RV technician needs to get in there to repair the fridge? They're gonna move that fridge, they're gonna whack your island, they're gonna mess things up, and then you've got a broken coach. So this gives your RV technician easier access to the fridge panel for, for better repairs in the future. Again, upgrades. Most people are doing this nowadays, but the magnet latches so that they're not, they're not clips. Easy, 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 and you've got slam latches, nice and tight there. You are prepped for a macerator system, the Santacon dump system. So if you want to upgrade that and you want to have a pump and dump tank versus the gravity, gravity draining your black tank, this has this on board. I think it's an upgrade, right? It was an upgrade on the MSRP sheet for this one. Other side of your uh, bay, your wet bay is right here on the right. Super easy controls here, all right? So um, anybody who doesn't feel comfortable with the water systems, I'm definitely one of them. I would feel super comfortable with setting this one up because it's very clearly color coded and easy to read. You also have a black tank flush. So what that's gonna do is once you've dumped your tank, you can go ahead and plug your city water in there. It's gonna clean it out and rinse those sensors uh, just to give you a better read on your tank levels. And right there you can see up top, the auto leveling system. You have a control on the exterior. You also have the controls on the inside. And um, this coach comes with the BM Pro system, which is gonna give you an app on your phone. You can control your lights, your slide outs, a couple other features on your phone, which is pretty neat. All right, I guess that is the outside of the coach. So let's head inside and we will see you in there. Welcome home, come on in. <laughs> Just give you a minute to take a look at the beautiful upgraded cabinetry in here, right? Spare no expense, this is your luxury fifth wheel, so you want that beautiful interior. You've got those high gloss finished wood styles, the, the cabinets, everything. Now one thing that you may not notice on the video, but is quite apparent when quite apparent when we're standing in here, is you can barely hear the air conditioner. That is because it is a whisper quiet system. Your actual um, AC is on the roof. Your intakes are here. And then you've got your ducts there. So you just don't hear that motor. It's super quiet. You can have a normal conversation. You don't have to scream over each other anymore. Um, island kitchen here, solid surface countertops throughout. Um, this is the water filtration system that I had mentioned earlier. So this leads back to that, that um, five gallon jug underneath. Biggest thing people always bring is water bottles because they don't trust the water at the campsite. You can fill up that five gallon jug with water from a, a filter system at home. You can go to the local grocery store and fill it up. If you like some margarita mix, you can filter some margarita mix. And that runs through to the fridge. So your ice maker here is gonna have it as well. Your water, your water on the fridge is gonna have it as well. They do hook up this fridge, you can use that. And then it runs around and down to the sink as well. Um, underneath the sink, you can see there's one cover here. You've got this pull out drawer and, and the sink cover can be stored here, which is super nice. And it matches the counters just right. Fits in there quite nicely. And you've got a flat top of more prep space, more cook space if you need it. You've got your upgraded fridge, right? This is a, with an inverter on board. So a nice, large fridge. Love that, big freezer. This really is built for full time if you needed it. And then coming down this way, you've got your residential size insignia oven, huge burners on this. You could cook a turkey in here if you wanna have Thanksgiving at your campsite. And you've got a residential size microwave with convection oven. So if you really don't wanna be 
cooking in this in the uh, full oven, you can use the microwave. Nice uh, wine bottle or whatever you like to drink up there. A little fixture they add on. Smaller drawers for your spices, and then you've got your nice big pantry with a sensor light in there. Love that. Lots of space. Again, storage is huge on these. Where are you going to put everything? They make it work. Coming over here, last piece. That This is removable, but I installed it just for the video. Nice chopping block. This is like, I think, I think our rep said somewhere around 200 pounds can hold, which I don't know why the first thing I thought was, I could sit on it, but I wouldn't sit on it. But you can put a lot of weight on this. You can chop your veggies, fr fruit, whatnot. Probably put something down before I do steak because you don't want to make it really nasty. But it's a great, great feature to have. It's beautiful. It gives it more of a, a luxury home feeling. Fireplace, not putting out heat right now, but it's beautiful just for the ambiance either way, right? And, oh, I'd like to watch TV, Dominique. Wow. Oh. Elevator <laughs> system. And it's fairly quick. Now, these things are by no means perfect, and I have seen them where they're kind of a little tilted. This one looks pretty good. But, hey, it's the thought that counts, and you can see the TV. You've got your nice theater seating here by Stacy Stewart, my favorite. And then you've got your um, couch on the back end. You have a nice set of windows, right? Beautiful windows. You have day and night shades in here. You can see the night. There's the pole shade in the day right behind it. They do give you, again, higher higher upper storage. Um, you got to be pretty tall to reach that, but I'm only 5'2". Dominique, can you reach? <laughs> great. How tall are you? 5'7". <laughs> <Five, seven>. Okay, 5'7 <laughs> so, or above, you can access <laughs> So what's nice is it's not coming back down on your head. You can reach everything up there. Um, I do like, too, the nightstands on either side. They have open here stickers. Open it right up. They have made a little bit more storage for you. So that's super nice. And moving down here, you've got your table, right? Freestanding table. Uh, I always joke with my customers, if you have something they're trying to hide from the general public, You've got a secret little compartment in the back here. Um, this does pull out pretty easily, and this drops in. And you've got a table for four. There's two more chairs that are stored underneath the bed, since nine times out of 10, it might just be the two of you. They do have this little ledge here that's pretty neat. And then if you have laptops, whatever you'd like to plug in and do a workstation from here, maybe you're doing a full-time work from home situation, you've got that power tower. Now be careful when this drops down, but you're gonna push this red button in and it's gonna go right back into the counter and you just push it down and it disappears. So super nice. Um, quickly, I'll go over the BM Pro system here. So this is that upgraded tablet. Um, everything, all your controls are on here. Your lights, your tank levels, your motors for your leveling, and if you scroll down, slide outs and awnings. You've got your temperature controls and uh, lights, and then tire pressure sensors. Oh, you got a tire pressure monitoring system here on, on here as well, huh? Um, <laughs> and then propane. And on the last page, you've got your battery system. So this comes with an app that you can download and control everything from your phone as well. Super convenient. Um, you've got this breakfast nook here, this coffee bar here. Plug is not too high on the wall, so you can put your coffee pot here nicely, your Keurig, maybe your foodie. I know I had a customer looking for a fifth wheel once, and he had to fit his foodie, and that was his number one. The foodie did not fit here. <laughs> it fit in a pantry and another fifth wheel that he ended up buying. But that's another story. <laughs> um, super cool feature for 22. I didn't test it before, so we'll see if it works. Yeah. Um, Jayco, lights off. Was that too quick? No, I don't think so. Okay, yeah. Try it again. Jayco, lights off. Okay. I think it's configuring. It oh, here we go. Time. Here we go. All right, the yellow seems it's ready. Okay. Jayco. Lights off. I think it needs to be upgraded in the tablet. Is what's going on. Oh. So um, that is a Alexa system for your Jayco. Super awesome. Interior lights, exterior lights, your um, main AC, your second AC. You can say Jayco movie lights and it will dim the lights for you. 
Um, but I think I have to get the tablet upgraded by a technician before it'll work, because usually it would beep and register and it's not making any noise. Um, up the stairs here, I wanted to keep this closed because I want to save the bedroom for last. Um, up here you've got <clears throat> pretty big pantry for storage, but it is prepped for a washer dryer. And on the other side you'll see another um, panel in there that you could put a uh, combo in here, or you could put you know, the European style two-in-one, or you could put one of each in that slide out here. Bathroom is gorgeous. Coming inside the bathroom, take a peek, right? You've got some room to split and squat. You've got this big mirror. You've got a beautiful bowl sink here. More, again, more residential style than anything else. Uh, towel rack. You've got hanging racks. You've got another rack on that side. I like the industrial pipe look to it on the wall of the shower. Um, teak wood seat in the shower. Beautiful. And then that shower head is gorgeous too. That rainfall shower head um, with the optional shower head you can you can kind of move around and control um you have a fan that's blowing right now biggest thing is going to be the modern farmhouse color in the bathroom with all this storage underneath right you can see in there you've got some shelves the water water connections and then porcelain toilet no plastic no smells no no stains porcelain toilet and is it a porcelain sink yeah porcelain sink all right now the big reveal Welcome to my crib, MTV. <laughs> Welcome to my crib. So this bedroom is absolutely gorgeous. We're gonna ignore Dominique's phone going off. Hang on, take a pause. Is he good? Do you have to take it? No, it's okay. Michelle. All right. All right. Beautiful interior bedroom. All right, so fireplace on this one with the TV, with lots of cabinetry. Um, no, f besides the dressers that you might put a washer dryer in, you have this hanging storage in here. Um, and then you've got some drawers below it. My favorite is this beautiful couch up front. You've got that window in the front, right? Depending where you're looking out onto, maybe you're parked on a lake or something, you've got a gorgeous view. Uh, dogs can sleep here. Maybe a younger kid can sleep here. Um, you've got a king bed on this one. Storage underneath the bed as well. With the gas struts, there's your chairs I was talking about. Um, this is the cover for that chopping block that I put up earlier. You can see the plywood construction. So Jayco does not have particle board. You've got solid plywood throughout. Um, speaking of plywood, I will touch on the roof system. So Jayco does what's called a magnum truss roof. It's a 16 on center wood truss roof built like a house. All your, all your ACs, everything that's cut out is reinforced with plywood around it. You've got oversized nail plates. You have vertical wood studs instead of um, aluminum studs. What does that mean for me, Gabby? It means in the event of a hurricane in Florida, your roof is rated for 4,500 pounds. You can put a small vehicle on the roof and it wouldn't do no damage. Your other brands out there are gonna be walkable, rated for about 2,000 pounds, but Jayco goes a step further and they make it like a house. Strong roof, strong walls, strong floor, sturdy, sturdy unit, and if a tree falls on it, it's a lot less likely to take some damage. We actually have a customer that sent in a photo um, from one of my sales colleagues, Mona, and she said that they barely had an indent because they had the magnum trust roof. So, super big deal, guys. You do have plugs on either side of the bed in case you need for your phone chargers and things like that. Um, on board, this one is gonna come with the wine guard already set up. You have the gateway system already prepped. So you have the Wi-Fi extender and you can get 4G LTE on board if you're gonna work from home situation. Um, I think that about covers it. Did I miss anything, Dom? No, I don't think so. Okay, well, thanks for joining me again on another episode of RVs with Gabby. And until next time, happy camping.